Ghana's gay community have already been forced into hiding because of rising attacks by vigilantes. And soon a yet to be passed law would make it Ill illegal to be gay with long prisons for the guilty. Actors say if that law is passed, it would be a green light for increased attacks on those within the gay community. CNN's David McKenzie has this exclusive report, but it comes with a warning. Some of the video is disturbing. Hello. Hey, it's uh, David. How are you doing? We're heading to a safe house in Accra. We're probably about 30 minutes from your live location now. Run by gay activists. Oh, okay. Can we carry in the cameras or we need to keep the cameras in boxes? I think let's carry it in boxes. Thank you for having us. We're meeting Joe. We agreed to hide his identity because he's afraid of being attacked again. Take me back to that moment when those men came and started harassing you. I was shaking when they took me to that room and then they set up this, this, their cameras and I was screaming, I was crying. His crime, the gang of men say, approaching another man. Is it true that you told him that you like him, they ask? Yes, he whispers. Like, how can this happen to me? They beat me around 9 to 11. All those times, you know, like, they were beating me. I wanted to kill myself. For me, when I saw this video, I was like, it would be better I kill myself because I have nowhere to go. And your dad threw you out? Yeah. And what was that moment like? I cried like never before. Often captured in videos too graphic to show and shared on social media. Part of a pattern of brutal, verbal and physical attacks by vigilantes to humiliate LGBTQ Ghanaians. Soon, the community fears they could be targeted by the state. What is your message to someone who is LGBT in Ghana right now? Well, we love them. As, as you, we always say, we love them. But you want to send them to prison? No, we are asking them not to do it. A draft law to be debated in weeks coerces LGBTQ Ghanaians to choose between jail time and so-called conversion therapy, seen by UN experts as torture. It prosecutes same-sex displays of affection, even punishes activists supporting the community. Activists call it a homophobe's dream. Today, in 2021, you believe that someone who supports openly the LGBT community should potentially go to prison for 10 years? Of course. Why is because that? Because it's against our culture. It's against our norm. It's against our tradition. And, and we don't want things that are against our sensibility to be, you know, given priority in our, in our society. Tragically, the LGBTQ community here says that tolerance was slowly improving in Ghana. And I know that African cultures are cultures of tolerance, diversity, acceptance and participation. When they opened a support centre in January, it rallied conservative lawmakers who say that being gay is an African, a Western import. Backed by powerful religious groups, the leadership of the million-strong Pentecostal church say LGBTQ organizations are a national security threat. We're struggling a little bit to get hold of someone. But they refuse to speak to us. Please talk to our leadership. To the leadership. Yes. Yeah. And their security stopped us from filming. We're just, we're just trying to speak to some people. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. The religious support for the bill here is absolute. It's one thing, uh, it's another thing to prosecute those who are identifying like this. So why take that extra step? It is not the values of the church. It's the values of the human species. The human being is created to be in a family and to propagate itself. It's not just the church. If the same Bible told people to love thy neighbor as thyself, why would you want to torture your own neighbor? Why would you want to torture your child? This prominent gay activist has already gone underground. The draft bill calls on all Ghanaians to hand in their LGBTQ neighbors for prosecution. So that they can actually beat you up. They can actually pick you and do whatever they want with you. The limited space Ghanaians like Joe had just to be themselves could soon vanish and they'll need to move further into the shadows. What is your message to those politicians? We are all human beings. Their sons and their daughters can be like me. My answer for them is they should put a stop to it. David McKenzie, CNN.